Welcome to Bosch's Virtual Training Labs, IBA 3.5 Module 5, Configuration, Sensitive Area. Before we discuss sensitive areas, the first thing we want to do is establish the difference between an IBA task and a sensitive area. An IBA task is a set of rules that will trigger an alarm event. The sensitive area is the part of the image seen by the encoder that is analyzed. Objects moving outside the sensitive area are not analyzed. An IVA task set up outside the sensitive area will not generate alarms. The larger the sensitive area, the more computing power is required. Data will be processed more slowly. By default, the entire scene is covered by the sensitive area. Later in this module, we are going to discuss how to modify this. But first, we want to discuss the default IVA task on your encoder, which is detect any object in field, and that encompasses the entire screen. The combination of the default IVA task and the default sensitive area will give you a result as pictured here. Everything in the scene is analyzed and everything in the scene will trigger an alarm. Before we edit our sensitive area, I like to start with a clean slate. So we are going to delete our default IVA task. Simply select it in the right hand side, select the delete button, and hit OK. This should delete your default task. This will give you the following results. Now you don't have an IVA task, but your entire screen is still the sensitive area. The next task we're going to perform is actually edit the sensitive area. Select the configuration tab in your IVA wizard, and then on the right hand side of the screen, select sensitive area. As we learned earlier in this module, by default, the entire scene is covered by the sensitive area. Now the actual objective for this module is to edit the sensitive area so it's only going to cover the sidewalk and the crosswalk pictured here in this scene. In later modules, we're going to take and we're going to apply IVA tasks or rules to the particular sensitive area that we set up. To modify our sensitive area, the first thing we want to do is look at the tools on the right. You'll notice there's a clear all button. If I click it, it clears everything. And there's a set all button that sets the entire screen. There's also a drop down that gives you a number of tools that you can use to paint back in your sensitive area once you've cleared everything. So we're going to clear all we're going to use our first tool, which is rubber band. You'll notice that I can click and drag, and I'll have a rubber band effect. The next one is small square. If I select that, I have to drag a small square around the area I want. There's a medium-sized square. You'll notice I drag it around. And if I select large square, I'll have a nice big block that I can paint in with. Now, if I have an area that I actually want to clear, I can hit my control key and then drag my mouse and hold down my left key and that will clear the area that I don't want to be included in my sensitive area. When I get done painting in my sensitive area, I hit the set button and this pushes the actual settings to the encoder. If my final sensitive area edits look like this, then I would receive results that look like this. Only objects inside my sensitive area would give me an IVA overlay or any trajectory lines. The most important thing I want you to take out of this module is that only things inside the sensitive area will actually be analyzed and processed against IVA tasks. If you have areas in your field of view that would be considered nuisance areas, you need to edit them out of the sensitive area. This will reduce processor utilization on the encoder and make IVA more effective. This concludes this module. Thank you for attending.